Salesforce architects are highly sought after professionals within the Salesforce ecosystem, leveraging their expertise to map the structure and functionality of Salesforce solutions. Their role involves ensuring the solution's functionality, safety, and cost effectiveness while tailoring it to meet business specific needs. Architects go beyond creating the overall structure. They design systems with a focus on the specific requirements of the users. The five types of architects are defined not by job titles, but by their responsibilities within a project, often referred to as flavors. Certified architects can adaptly take on any of these roles based on the project's requirements. Salesforce architects play distinct roles, each focusing on specific aspects of Salesforce implementation. Here's a brief overview before delving into each type. Solution architect manages everything within Salesforce. Technical architect handles data flow in and out of Salesforce, as well as integration with other systems. Data architect designs scalable data architecture. Enterprise architect oversees all architects playing a comprehensive role that involves business considerations. Transformation Architect defines target operating models, skill sets, resource management, governance, and stakeholders. As you explore each type, questions may arise about their unique responsibilities and how they collaborate on a project. We'll address these questions and demystify the distinctions between these architects. Before we go any further, I'd like to take a minute to thank this video's sponsor, Own Company. Own Company is a leading data protection platform that empowers organizations to protect manage and activate their SaaS data. OWN can help you and your org with backup and recovery, data seeding for sandboxes, data archiving, and more. To find out more, head over to salesforceben.com forward slash backup to get a free trial of OWN and retake ownership of your Salesforce data. The solution architect is like the party planner, holding responsibility for all aspects within Salesforce, focusing on designing high quality, scalable, and efficient solutions. Their role involves ensuring the seamless integration of components into a coherent and appealing solution. Additionally, they handle the preparation of data for outbound systems and process incoming data from external sources. They will oversee things such as data modeling, data migration, data sharing, multi-component solutions, Salesforce configuration and the consultants working on the configuration, connected apps, declarative automation, user experience, handoff to other systems, environment management, deployments, leading a team of consultants and or administrators. The technical architect is like the door person, accountable for managing data flow both into and out of Salesforce, establishing it as the central authoritative source. Their responsibilities include designing multi-component solutions, preparing data for transmission to other systems and processing incoming data. Unlike solution architects, technical architects place a specific emphasis on ensuring the security of data at rest and in transit, ensuring that the appropriate data is safeguarded to maintain the security of the Salesforce solution. They will oversee things like data modeling, data migration, multi-component solutions, code inside Salesforce, including Apex, Visual Force, and Lightning components, app exchange apps, designing APIs, secure messaging, guaranteed delivery of data, managing large data volumes, handoff from other systems to Salesforce, integration patterns, DevOps strategy, leading a team of developers, CI, CD, environment management, deployments. Now that we have covered two architect remits, let's pause and reflect on the differences between solution architects and technical architects. In terms of their focus on Salesforce multi-component solutions, solution architects design your ideal Salesforce concept, including the configuration, code, sharing, data, identity, and connected apps. Technical architects focus on selecting the most appropriate technical components for your Salesforce, including coding, quality, and DevOps. For data between systems, solution architects are mainly concerned with preparing and processing data to enter or leave Salesforce. Technical architects, on the other hand, are more concerned with how data will flow between all integrated systems, not just Salesforce. In general, technical architects have additional concerns with the security of data at rest and in transit. 
for the user experience, Solution Architects focus on UX with things like Visual Force and Lightning components, whereas Technical Architects focus on how UX affects the flow of data, integrations, and any bulk Apex jobs. The Salesforce Data Architect is like the DJ, responsible for crafting a scalable data architecture, akin to a DJ selecting the right music to set the desired atmosphere. In projects involving a data architect, they take ownership of the data model, migration, quality, governance, and backup strategy. Their focus extends to ensuring the availability, reliability, integrity, security, structure, and storage of data in complex environments. In data transformations, where data is pulled from diverse external sources, the data architect optimizes the overall data and its interaction within Salesforce. While the technical architect manages data flow, the data architect concentrates on enhancing the data comprehensively. They actively participate in executing strategies, activities, and sequences related to their responsibilities, often taking a hands-on approach and leading others in the process. They will oversee data modeling, data migration, activities, sequences, risks, transformations, and dependencies, data quality, by identifying risks and strategizing ETL activities, designing APIs, defining transformation rules, calling out risks and issues associated with LDVs, managing data between external systems and middleware, for example, MuleSoft, where applicable, backup strategy, leading a team of data analysts. A Salesforce data architect usually works closely with the technical architect. In some programs, the technical architect will lead the data architect by directing the strategy of the data architecture and collaborating on optimizing the system backend to handle large volumes of data. The technical architect will also work with the solution architect as a close-knit design team, the party planner and DJ discussing and coordinating their designs. The transformation architect is like the club manager, tasked with implementing the project's vision. They oversee the target operating model, roadmap, work stream, planning, resources, skill sets, project governance, and stakeholders. In contrast to the day-to-day -day focus of the enterprise architect, the transformation architect looks beyond the immediate project, aiding in the development of measures for its impact. Their role includes maintaining a customer-centric focus throughout the Salesforce project and ensuring alignment with the broader long-term goals of the business. Ideally, having multiple types of architects on a project ensures comprehensive coverage of solution design aspects, leading to better outcomes. However, the practicality of affording all these architects can be a challenge. The architects needed for a project depend on its specifics, such as whether it's multi-cloud, multi-platform, or involves innovation. Collaboration among different types of architects is essential for a well-rounded solution, where they challenge each other to evolve ideas and provide expertise in their respective domains. While not all five types of architects may be necessary, the flexibility exists for additional roles beyond these. For instance, a professional might take on different roles like solution architect, data architect, or even specialize in change management on various projects. The categorization into these types serves as a career path guide, allowing individuals to align their skills and interests with specific roles. This classification also helps organizations allocate resources effectively and budget accordingly, even though some may find it limiting as it categorizes responsibilities. This video highlights the distinctions among architect roles in Salesforce projects, emphasizing that multiple teams may be involved in a single process, each making decisions that contribute to a broader strategic outcome. Additionally, it sheds light on often overlooked aspects, such as business transformation, change management, and people considerations, which are architectural but may fall under other project roles like business analysts. Salesforce is actively working to align these roles with credentials through their certification and enablement programs, aiming to provide a clearer structure for professional development and expertise within the Salesforce ecosystem.